assume that I've already positioned Amanda closer Old to the edge of the bed, so stay forward. Okay. Okay, so again, I'm assisting this side for the stand, okay? And then you can help now, okay? So I'm gonna actually, we're gonna go all the way up to the stand, okay? okay. So again, my should hand here. Is my hand here, or where should yeah. I be helping? Yeah, push. Okay. okay, so we're just gonna go up to the stand, okay? So we get her again, starting, and then we get hip flexion, and then I get input here, and then up, tall, tall, tall. Okay, so I'm giving her maintaining extension. Now I can just ask Amanda, step. So I shift her weight, she steps, and then she reaches, and then now she can go. Okay. Where is your hand placement on her? Is it on her, the far hip? Where is it? So I'm giving her structure here. Mm -hmm. So, because I want her to be able to weight shift, right? So if I kept her on her good side, her left side, mm -hmm. she wouldn't be able to unweight in order to step, right? So I'm shifting her over to her right lower extremity. I'm providing, I'm maintaining extension, okay? And then she can step. As soon as she unweights, any of your patients, as soon as you unweight them and give them that weight shift to their un uh, affected side, they, they will know to release and they can step, okay? Does that so your make hand sense? was like on her hip, right? Like you yeah, so like I'm just giving her input, but, but mainly, what my um, forearm is there or my elbow is there for to maintain anterior pelvic rotation because a lot of times the patients will do this, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll still have their lower extremity but then I won't have their pelvis. Mm -hmm. So I need to make sure that they maintain this because when you get, look what happens. When I go into posterior pelvic rotation, what happens with my knees? Yeah, they will go into knee flexion. Everything is interrelated. Okay? Good? And. Okay, one more. One more test. Yeah. So, let's go forward. So, let's say this is the wheelchair. I have Amanda all set up to do the grooming task. Okay? Again, same facilitation here. I have the elevator to give her input up, okay? And then this, so I'm not blocking the femur to go over the tibia, okay? So the sink is right here. Again, she has no control of her right arm. She's gonna push up, and I've given her all the anterior pelvic and thoracic extension. So now she's gonna lean forward and go up to a stand and then here, I can place her right arm, uh, left, right arm on the sink for weight bearing, and I'm going to maintain that. And then she can do her ADLs. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Amanda.